Lucy Spragan, who was just 20 at the time, shared the rape took place after celebrating her fellow X Factor contestant Trylan Clark's 25th birthday at London nightclub Mahiki. The singer has shared how she felt it was inappropriate for ITV to let contestants of The X Factor, have a supply of free alcohol. She told The Guardian, how can you fulfill your duty of care when free alcohol is involved? Lucy passed out after drinking at the club and was escorted back to the hotel by a member of the production team, before the hotel porter offered to escort her to her room. As he left, the porter flipped the security latch on her door to prevent it from locking behind them. Rosanna Arquette breaks silence on her horrible shopping center car collision late on in the evening Rylan checked in on an unconscious Lucy and made sure her door was locked when he left. This meant when the porter later returned to Lucy's room in order to attack her, he had to use a traceable keycard. She continued, I woke up the next day with this sense of sheer dread. I don't think I've ever felt that level of confusion since. I knew that I'd been raped, but I could not process that. So I put my clothes on and went into autopilot. Don't miss. Maggie Smith wows in elegant dress during rare public appearance at Wimbledon, latest. BBC radio legend Tony Butler dies as fans pay tribute to incredible star, news, Jack P. Shepard shares rare video of his kids as he admits struggles at Corey, update, the production team called the police and an arrest was quickly made, but the star said she felt they were unprepared to support her in the aftermath. Lucy said in the days after the assault, the side effects of PEP, a drug that prevents HIV, made her too unwell to consider continuing with the competition. No one ever contacted me to ask if I was okay, she wrote in her book. Express.co.uk has contacted ITV for comment. A spokesperson for Fremantle, the show's producers, said, the serious sexual assault suffered by Lucy Spragan in October 2012 was a truly horrific criminal act for which the perpetrator, who was not connected with the program, was rightfully prosecuted and imprisoned. Anyone should feel safe when they are sleeping in a hotel room, and it is abhorrent to think that a hotel porter abused that trust in such a vile way. To our knowledge, the assault was an event without precedent in the UK television industry. Whilst we believed throughout that we were doing our best to support Lucy in the aftermath of the ordeal, as Lucy thinks we could have done more, we must therefore recognize this. For everything Lucy has suffered, we are extremely sorry. Since then, we have done our very best to learn lessons from these events and improve our aftercare processes. Whilst we have worked hard to try and protect Lucy's lifetime right to anonymity, we applaud her strength and bravery now that she has chosen to waive that right. Meanwhile, a spokesperson for ITV said, The X Factor was produced by Thames, part of Fremantle, and Psycho, who were responsible for duty of care towards all of its program contributors. ITV is committed to having in place suitable and robust processes to protect the mental health and welfare of program participants, and we have continued to evolve and strengthen our approach. If you or someone you know has been affected by this story, Samaritans, 116-123, operates a 24-hour service available every day of the year. Alternatively, you can find more information on the Samaritans website https colon slash slash www.samaritans.org slash 